Hello, a very warm welcome to the introduction to our programming video series. My name is Vidya Siddharth Sahasrabuddha and I am working as a data scientist in one of the manufacturing MNC. If you have decided to embark your data science journey using our software, then these videos are created for you. These videos will help you to get acquainted with our programming language. Now I have been learning R since last two years and these videos is you can say a reflection of my own journey of uh, learning R, the experiences I got, the mistakes I've committed and the lessons that I've learned. So in a way these videos are created to help you uh, in making comfortable with R in the shortest amount of time. Now here I am assuming one thing, I am assuming that you are new to the data science, you are someone who have just started learning this new thing called data science, you are new to our programming language and you are completely new to programming itself. So with this assumption, I have created these videos, we will going to start right from the basic, right from the fundamental levels. And we will going to slowly build up upon writing our own functions and running our own simulations in R. We are going to learn the R functionality by uh, completing the three projects. Now these projects are very simple but they are very deep in a sense that they cover a lot of crap. The first project we are going to create a virtual dive. And while creating the virtual dive we are going to learn the R objects. The R objects are the fundamentals of the R programming. In the second project, we will going to shuffle the deck of cards. We are going to see closely the data frames and how uh, you can manipulate the data using various R functions. The third project is about creating a slot machine. While creating the slot machine, we are going to see how we can use the loops and conditional statements in R. Now with this small introduction, let's start with our first video. In the first video, we are going to start with asking a very fundamental question. As a data scientist, do I need to program? And if I need to program, then why do I need to program in R? What is there in R which differentiates this language from the any other languages that are available? Now having answered these questions, we will see a step-by-step -step procedure of installing R and R Studio on your computer. So with this agenda, let's get started with our first video. To get started with R, you need to acquire your own copy of R and R Studio. So this short video will show you how to download R and R Studio. Well, at this point you may not understand the difference between R and R Studio. Wait for a while. We will cover this as we move along. Now before we go and download the R, let me answer to a very basic question that you may have in your mind. As a data scientist, do I really need to learn how to program? Well, answer to this question is yes and no. No, if you are using programs like SPSS. Now, those programs are graphical user interface based. That means they are very easy to very easy to learn. Uh, but they are meant for standard things, and uh, they may get frustrating sometimes. You know, if you want to use them. For something that is not already pre-programmed but on the on the other hand if you know how to program then it gives you a lot of flexibility well flexibility matters a lot in data science project because the analysis and simulations you will use in your projects will change from problem to problem isn't it each project is unique it comes with its uh, unique challenges in terms of uh, in terms of data cleaning, in terms of making visualizations or even in terms of fitting your machine learning models onto the data set. So if you know how to program, it gives you a lot of flexibility 
to tailor made your analysis as per the project requirement the second advantage is automation now you can automate repetitive task easily now as you go along and handle data science projects you will realize that 70 to 80 percent of your time on data science project goes in cleaning the data tidying the things up you know all those housekeeping activities which makes data refined so that you can use it for your further analysis especially in machine learning models now this work of cleaning is very repetitive boring and sometimes frustrating isn't it so this entire work of cleaning the activities can be automated if you learn how to program and third part is uh, communication now let me show you a piece of code now here we go so uh, is this piece of code easy to communicate even to someone who doesn't understand the data science so this is quite intuitive right i mean uh, you can able to get this uh, by looking at the code that this is something to do with data visualization so you have a data called early jan january weather and this early january weather data needs to be uh, plotted on x axis you have time hour on y axis you have a temperature on this on this axis now you are going to plot this data with the help of line graph so this you know kind of a textual piece of code really helps in explaining the things to others especially on how the analysis is carried out what are the steps involved and what are the visualizations that you used so communication becomes very easy and of course there are uh, many ways many more advantages of uh, programming one of the advantages one of the most important advantage is reproducibility now what is this uh, reproducibility well in simple terms you have the data set and you run your analysis steps onto it and you produce the result and if you give this analysis your piece of code to the other person and if you ask other person to run your analysis the same steps that you followed the same analysis steps that you followed on the same data set then that person should get the same results that means that the, the person who is using your work should be able to recreate your analysis that is what reproducibility is all about and you can find more on reproducibility in this wonderful book It's available on the net. I've given you the link. This book talks about uh, read producibility and how this uh, read producibility is really important in data science projects. Go and check it out. Now I hope that uh, you get convinced on. need to learn the programming now let's deliberate on why to program in r well friends each uh, programming language comes with its uh, own unique advantages and disadvantages and as a data scientist you should be aware of it and choose best tool or a language catering to your own specific requirement so you should uh, try to be you know language agnostic uh, that is what my that is what my take on it uh language agnostic been you should be open to use any tool that you want for example if you want to go for uh, uh quick insight generation or dashboarding then you know power bi and tableau these are the tools that are best in the industry you can use them or if you want to deep dive in exploratory data analysis with uh, heavy statistic involved in of course r is the best if you want to use uh, machine learning algorithms then both r and python you can do this and uh, if you want to put your uh, machine learning models into production 
Then of course Python is the best because it's a general purpose language and it has a lot of APIs that you can use to, to publish your results. So uh, to sum up, I'm not giving, I'm not going to, you know, do any comparison of R with uh, any other language or data science tools. Each language comes with its own advantage and disadvantage. So there is no point in, you know, going into the debate or going into the comparison. So what I've done here is that I've given you uh, these uh, four uh, main advantages that I could think of and this and these advantages come because of its uh, inherent design. The first one is uh, is statistical foundation. So the first advantage is perhaps what sets R apart from other data science language. It has a uh, roots in statistical statistical programming. So basically, R is an offshoot of S. S language was uh, first developed in 1975 in Bell's laboratory. And at core of S are all uh, Fortran subroutines that are written to perform exploratory data analysis back then in 1975. So data analysis has been there since quite a long time now. Now later on in 1993, S was uh, reincarnated in R. So it was uh, two statisticians, uh, Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman, these two statisticians uh, wanted to develop a statistical environment to run, to run their simulations uh, in their statistical classes at the uh, University of Auckland. So they use R routines and write their own interpreter and that interpreter is what R is today. Now uh, what I've done here is that I'm giving you these uh, two links for your own reading. The first link is of course uh, Wikipedia uh, is, is, is Wikipedia is article on Wikipedia uh, which uh, talks about the history of S and the second article is about uh, introdu introductory posts. So this, this, this is the post actually uh, written by uh, Ross Ihaka. Ross Ihaka remember is one of the, our founders. And this post talks, post, post talks about uh, Genesis of R and how it got developed further. So both are very good and interesting read. Please uh, check it out. Uh, going ahead uh, with the advantages of R. Uh, the second advantage that I can think of is uh, it's open source. It's platform independent. Open source means you don't have to pay any, any money for the for the licensing so there is no licensing fee involved and R is platform independent that means you can run R on Linux, Mac, Windows so effectively you have to write only one code and that one code can run on all these three platforms. R is function based language uh, it has very cool uh, library of functions or pre-built functions uh, and these functions are written for a specific analysis now in our parlance, these functions are called as packages. Packages are nothing but these function libraries that comes along with the documentation, how to use it. So if, uh, at present, you have more than 10,000 packages. Uh, and I'm going to have a separate discussion on these packages uh, during our later modules. And I will going to show you how to install those packages in our environment and how to actually use them. But uh, do remember one thing. Uh, Friends, power of R is in its packages. The fourth advantage is uh, R comes with its very, very, very strong community. Now you have a R core group, which are the groups of, uh, you know, uh, academicians, researchers, statisticians, subject matter experts, industry experts. They form the core group of R and then these folks actually decide the future roadmap of our language. And apart from this uh, core group, you have uh, thousands of uh, R contributors across the world. They are all software engin engineers, coders, they use R, they write their own packages and then they release those packages so that uh, all open source community members can able to use their packages for their own analysis. 
plus you will find uh, numerous groups on linkedin on stack overflow on facebook on twitter if you become a member of these groups you can get the instant uh, help uh, on anything uh, related to r so with this uh, introduction let's go ahead and let's install r and r studio right so let's start if you feel that these videos are really helping out if you are getting the value out of this content then can you do me a favor can you please go and subscribe to my youtube channel the infinity a channel for data science because if you subscribe then you can get immediate notification of the content that i will be posting every week thank you now let's see how to download and install r uh, so r is uh, r is maintained by an international team of developers uh, who make the language available through the web page and that web page is called as the comprehensive r archives network so this this is the web page this is the cra and web page and as you can see the top of the web page provides three links for uh, downloading r uh, you have to simply follow these links Uh, as per your operating system, so Windows, Mac, or Linux. So let's see how to install R on Windows system. So to install R on Windows, uh, you need to click the download R for Windows link, and then click to the base link, and then it will take you to the new page. So and then you have to link. You have to click on the link that that says something. Download R 4.2.2. Uh, for windows now this 4.2.2 uh, is the latest version that r is having right now so if you click on that then the it will start your installer program and which installs uh, most up to date version uh, of r for windows now you have to simply follow the steps uh, uh, through the installation wizard <coughs> and then uh, you will and then the installation wizard will create a, a program file folders and place the shortcut on your start menu now let's see how to do this installation for mac so to install r on mac so you have to uh, simply click the download r for mac link then it will uh, uh, it will guide you to the latest star version uh, as we saw in windows uh, r 4.2.2 then uh, if you click on this uh, r 4.2.2 link then installer will start and it, it will start to download and it will uh, get you through the installation process so this is again you need to simply follow the process and then r will get installed on your machine now let's see how uh, how to install r on the linux system so again cran website provides files to build r from the source of uh, as you can see from the source on debian red hat uh, suse and ubuntu Uh, systems under the link uh, download r for linux you have to simply click the link and then follow the directory trail uh, to the version of linux uh, you wish to install on let's now see how to how to install the r studio so if you want to install the r studio then you need to type in posit.co and then it will take you to the posit website by the way posit is the name of the company who has developed the r studio and there are also many r packages that posit has developed now you go to the products select the r studio ide ide stands for integrated development environment and then download free copy of the r studio desktop so once you download the free copy of r studio desktop then it will follow the steps of downloading and uh, r studio icon will appear on your uh, menu screen now uh, you can explore this uh, r studio further as you can see uh, it also comes with a enterprise version but that comes with a uh, with a licensing cost of uh, $995 a year and uh, if you go to explore more then you can see that uh, some of the r packages that posit team has developed these are again open source packages so They are, they are again they are free to download
So in this video, we touched upon some of the advantages of knowing how to program. We saw that there are few benefits that you immediately get if you know the programming. The first benefit is flexibility. The second benefit you get is you can able to communicate your results uh, in, a, in a more structured way. Third benefit is reproducibility. Fourth benefit that you can you get is uh, you can automate many of the repetitive tasks. We also saw what is the what is the R that that is so special about R. The first speciality of R is that it's a language created for statistical use. So it comes natural when you are doing any data analysis work, then R will be your go-to choice. The second part, the second advantage of R is that it's open source, it's platform independent, that means you can use it free of cost, you can use it in any of the platform, be it Mac, be it Windows or be it in Macintosh. And the third benefit is that it has a very vibrant and active community. Then we saw how we can able to download the R uh, by visiting the CRAN website. We also downloaded the, downloaded the R Studio by visiting the POSIT website and then we installed both of these softwares uh, on our computer. So having installed R and R Studio, in the next video we are going to see what is R Studio and we will start with the basic functionalities of R. So see you soon in the next video. Happy learning and take care.